Hello everyone, to study and cognition of the software BMS, then, we made a series of software BMS and accessories teaching videos. Ok, let's take a look at our video catalog, if you have need related videos that you can find the corresponding service staff to get our teaching videos. Today we are going to talk about a connection tutorial for the display. We use a short video to get a preliminary understanding of our touch screen. Next, let me explain to you the touch control display and the protection board specific usage of daily BMS. First, we need to know that our display screen specification, it is a 4.3 inch display that can be touch controlled. It is powered by a DC power supply from 7V to 36V can communicate with the BMS through UART and FARS 485 communication. When installing, it needs an opening size that width is 87.7mm and length is 130mm. Ok, let's demonstrate a step in the use of this screen. Before the demonstration, then, what materials do we need to prepare? A display screen, a connection line, has been connected to the wiring and has been activated a software BMS. First, we plug one end of the connection into our screen and make sure it is correct. And then we plug this other end into our BMS. And then we can take a look at our BMS, which is a socket marked with a UART communication port, and we must not insert it wrong. The error may cause a lack of power on the screen or burn out the screen. Here, let's first say, our factory default is UART communication, if ours 485 communication is needed, then it needs to be customized. Then we need to customize this wire harness and this screen to say hello to our salespeople in advance. You can take a look. Now the connection is successful. Next, let's take a look at the first screen. The first screen is a state display with the total battery voltage, temperature, battery string number, remaining capacity and charge and discharge MOS switch, maximum voltage, minimum voltage, real-time current, and the lowest temperature. There are also several temperature probes. Ok, now let's click, top right, next page. We can take a look at what's shown here a display of each voltage and a display of temperature, then let's take a look at our third page, the next page. This page is mainly one of our parameter settings page. On this page, we can set a parameter for the BMS in a modified operation, but here, first, our screen needs to settings a password. Our original password is 123456, but you have to enter the password before setting it up. For example, we have to input the password wrong. We enter 123459, and click OK, at this time, it will prompt that the password is wrong, please re-enter. If we enter 123456, it will not prompt the password error when we go to the setting. Then about the password modification, where do we need to click? To click this position of this parameter setting, then we enter the original password, then enter our new password, at last, confirm the modification. And inside, is one of our parameter settings, then we can take a look here, and we can all set, such as the setting of the overcurrent value, monomer overvoltage, monomer undervoltage, and then a setting of temperature, and a manual setting of capacity, and the battery type of ternary and iron lithium, a sleep time of this BMS, balanced turn on voltage, balanced turn on voltage difference. When setting up, do not set this parameter at will, you can consult our sales staff. Of course, if you know more about this, then you can set it up yourself. Our screen supports a display in English and Chinese, this, when we buy, need to explain in advance with the sales staff, that last. Let's talk about the installation of our screen, the first step, we have to open the battery box or another installation position according to the size of an opening provided above the screen specification. Well, the second step, we have to install our screen. Pay attention to a waterproof pad of our screen, and waterproof gasket must not be lost. In this way, one of its waterproof grades is very high, and then on the back of our screen, we tighten this screw to it, and then make sure it is firm. Ok, see here, I believe the partners also have a certain understanding of our display screen, if there is anything else do not understand, can consult our sales staff and our customer service staff, and then today, we are here. Thank you all.